so hard to call. But I'm going to ask you for your pick. Give us who you think your favourite pick is and just the one outsider for the women's draw. Well, I've already given my outsider. I'm going to stick with that. That's Annette Contevate. Contevate. She's Contevate. She's she did my that twelfth. Yeah, that's a real one. No, I don't think... No, she's a bit of an outsider. Come on, you would never... <laughs> You wouldn't ex- you're not expecting yeah, her to win. I think that should qualify. As I don't outsider. want to hear what your favourite one is now. She's the outsider. Well, you could say this is probably more of an outsider then. All right, My then. My favourite is Muguruza. Ah, you... <laughs> that's who I picked. Uh, yeah, that's who I picked. <laughs> but yeah, so we both got the same favourite pick. We both picked Muguruza as our... You're joking. No, as our favourite. So there's not much <sighs> we can do in. about that. So what's your house, reasoning? Your reasoning might be different to mine. My reasoning is uh, based on the last hard court tournament, and I haven't really seen Muguruza play since. But I'm hoping if she comes back in that form, I reckon she'll wipe the floor with everybody. Well, the last time we saw her was in in Doha, wasn't it? And she played a good match there. I think she lost to, I think I forget, maybe Kvitova. She lost in three sets, and it was quite a close match. And then obviously always she there. lost the final of the, the last slam. Yeah, against she's, Kenin. She's, she's, had a long time. she's not played though since February. So. She's a big match player though. That's the yeah, thing. That's, with that's, her. My, that's my reasoning. I thought yeah. she's a big, I feel like she's a big match player. And I feel like when she comes back, she's going to pick up from where she left off. Do you and, want to know uh, my outsider? Yeah. Azarenka. Oh. <laughs> just a, she's <laughs> just uh, obviously done well in this tournament. Maybe she can carry the form on. So, so she's going to do it with Cincinnati and then well, straight why after not? that, she's going to win the US Open. And do you want to, as we're here giving some picks, do you want to give some picks on the men's draw? We obviously did a review of the men's draw. We didn't give our picks on who we thought was going to be uh, victorious there. But yeah, give us your, uh, well, favourite and then outsider. Okay, so I'll start with the outsider. You Hopefully you right. allow this. It's Alex de Menor. Okay. Yeah, I can I see that. Like that's, that's an outsider. That can be there. an outsider. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's I think he's interest. the 22nd seed or something. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely an outsider then. But... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, for me, I think we've seen what ability he has. He's recently just won the doubles, what we've not spoke about, at Cincinnati with Pablo Carina Buster. Yeah. So, he's in a bit of winning form. Granted, he's going to be now playing <laughs> singles, but <laughs> we've seen him do it. We know how good he, this guy is. We've been raving about him on the podcast for ages. We've seen him at Wimbledon last year. Yeah, and we like him. We just think he's a really good player, and he's capable of, I think, causing a bit of an upset here. And then my big pick, my my main yeah. pick, it's hard not to say Djokovic. Uh, what is? Honest. I know that's the problem. Like, it's people are going to th- probably say in the comments, "Oh, why why do you not think Djokovic is going to win?" I actually kind of do think he is, but I know. just to make it a bit more interesting, I'm not going to say Djokovic, and I'm going to go for Stefano Sissipas. Ooh. That's my winner. Interesting. Sit a pass an ADM for me. Right, that's interesting. Right, get on to my. So my main. I'm going to start with my favourite tip. Uh, I've been really impressed with him this week. I think if he just adds a little bit more to his game, he's got all of the uh, bit like all of the stats, all of the ability, and all of if he just has that slight more mental toughness, he'll get there. Roberto okay. Batista, I got. And, and the it. thing, if he can, if he can just add that extra bit to his game, he can. He's beaten Djokovic three times on Harcourt. Obviously, he came up short this time, but he's got he's got something there. If anyone can beat Djokovic, I think he's one of the people. So that's the reasoning for that one. And the next one, you're not going to like, <laughs> but it might be. It's a very risky one. Riley Opelka, because. Before this injury, I don't know how his injury is, but if he stays fit, he was firing the like, aces left, right, and center. And if any, I couldn't see anybody returning. And Titipas was, well, just about, I guess, to go into a tie break with him before he retired in that match. So you never know. You serve 1,000 aces, you might win the US Open. <laughs> so that's my reasoning for that. Fair enough. So, yeah, they're the picks. So that's that picks. Let us know in the comments, guys, what your picks are, what you think about our ones, and um, who you think is going to win on the women's tour and men's tour. Yeah.